I become E. Here, E is called instantaneous EMF at a time t. In the same way, it is E naught sine omega t. Here, E naught is called again the peak EMF and omega is called angular frequency, having same value 2 pi upon 2. Now, in this representation, we represent y axis as current or EMF and here i naught and e naught in the same way. So, we can check both the variation of current and EMF in the same graph. But we also know that the cost curve or the cost variation also obeys the same manner, but it moves a bit different manner from maximum to minimum, then minimum to maximum, again in second direction, opposite direction, maxima to minima and minima to maxima. So, if we draw the cosine curve, we see that cosine curve is like that. Here, again in the same way it is time t, here peak current or peak EMF, but the variable quantity is instantaneous current or EMF, again time is 0, time is t by 4, now time is t by 2, 3t by 4 and again a cycle time t. But here this quantity varies as cosine curve, so we represent this current as i is equal to i naught cos omega t and similarly e is equal to e naught cos omega t. Here current and emf again represents the variable term that is instantaneous current or emf along y axis and time along x axis. These are the equation we can either follow this sine variation or cos variation the only difference of the phase angle or the initial approach angle. But there is a common problem is there. We can measure the value of DC or direct current by using a meter or a voltmeter because its direction does not change. Current will flow in the same direction. So there is no problem to measure this current by using the instrument called a meter and voltmeter. But in this condition, this current varies and changes periodically in one direction, second direction, so constantly repeating the direction. So if we add a simple emitter in the circuit containing AC source, it fluctuates rapidly. Now as we know that the frequency of AC in India is around 50 Hz, it means it changes the direction 50 times in a second. And when this instrument pointer fluctuate in the high frequency manner, then it cannot move or burnt out. So in order to find its magnitude or its direction, we use hot wire emitter or hot wire voltmeter. Because in hot wire emitter, the instrument work on the concept of heating current. The loss of energy, loss of heat by any current does not depend on the direction of current. It always lost heat, whatever the current direction. It means in order to measure its value or in order to convert this AC current into constant current which play an important role in its measurement of current we use the concept of mean current or RMS current. Here mean current is not so useful because in mean current the uh, total current of a cycle again becomes zero because in mean current we stabilize its value to a fixed level but in complete cycle the value in the second level is in opposite direction so the average current becomes zero. So there is no use of mean current in the measurement using instrument. So 
we convert this fluctuating or variate AC current into RMS current. This is called the root mean square current. So we deal generally in physics by a constant term of current called 